towards Dos Santos, lets it roll, Diaz! The hat-trick! Hello, everybody. I'm Charlie O'Connor-Clark, joined by, to some, a very familiar face. Uh, to some Vancouver FC fans, a maybe new face, Alejandro Diaz, who is coming back to the Canadian Premier League, but this time to a different British Columbia club. Alex, how are you doing? Hi, Charlie. All good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you've just arrived back in Vancouver. You had your first training session with the new team today. Um, very exciting. But I think the first question we have to ask you is, uh, last year you won the Golden Boot with just really half a season. So it should be pretty easy to do that again, right? No, it's not going to be easy for sure. Uh, but, but also, like, for sure, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I just I just want to come here to work hard and to help the team and 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 to keep winning and try to fight for that championship that that we all want. Yeah, for sure. You're you're, you're only seven goals back. I think you can do it. Um, <laughs> let's uh let's get into it. You know you you come back to Vancouver FC uh, on loan from Songdal in in Norway. Um, tell me a little bit about wanting to come back to Canada, back to play in a CPL, and what you're most excited about with coming to this, this maybe different club, this new challenge. Yeah, as you said, it's, it's going to be a challenge because, um, as we all, all know, like it's a, it's a new team in the CPL, so that's a great challenge. And, and, and also, like all the challenges are, are, are good for everyone. And, and I, I love challenges. And also, when we had the chance to come back to, to Canada, we said, like, yeah, for sure. And... And with uh, Vancouver, um, we knew Rob, uh, I, and, and we know how, how Rob managed things and how he uh, he do things. So um, we know it's gonna be great, and 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 also like looking into the team and looking into the coaching staff. Like everyone's super. Uh, we have a lot of quality here, and also like we have a lot of young guys and now some experienced players. So I think that's a really good mix, and and we can do things proper and and we just start uh, we'll just uh, work hard to to make uh, more wins and, and to keep on going that way to make it to playoffs and then to fight for the championship definitely I, I Alex as, as you mentioned it's a new club and it's a bit of a new experience for you but there are some familiar faces there in Vancouver you played at Pacific with Callum Irving and and Caden Chung and I, there's some of the some of the staff and, and people there as well is it Maybe a little bit helpful. Nice to see some of those friendly faces that you remember from your your time in the CPL. Yeah, for sure, it's 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 amazing uh, just to come back and, and see see them. Uh, they are amazing persons, also amazing professionals, and like they, they have a lot of quality and and they can um, we we can uh, we can have that connection that we had in Pacific and we can bring it uh, up to Vancouver. So I think. Uh, that's great, and yeah, like uh, it, it will help me to adapt a little bit uh, quicker because I already know them. For those who don't know, obviously last year with Pacific, you again were scoring for fun all the time. Thirteen goals in the CPL plus three in the Concacaf League, and then at you know kind of end of July, early August, you get that move over to to play in Europe in Norway. Um, maybe tell me a little bit about what that experience was like for you, what you learned over there, and, and maybe what you'll what you'll take out of that when you come back into into this Canadian environment. Well, the football over there was a, like a little bit more tactic and a little bit more like uh, the, the way they play, it was a little bit faster. So I think I learned a lot tact, tact, tactically. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, so I think that's, that's, a, that's a big part that in my game that I improved also uh it's kind of similar like the it's a lot of physical uh play over there so i think i i, I gain a lot of experience in that way so i can come here and to bring that up in here in the cpl i think that that will help me in my play especially and yeah just just to try to do what i learned in, in norway mm -hmm. And obviously, it seemed like you did pretty well with them last year, especially. I know you guys were just barely outside of the of the promotion playoffs, uh, trying yeah. to get from from the second tier to the top tier. But you you were scoring a bunch still. Um, this year, maybe things a little bit difficult. Talk to me about why it's it's maybe a good thing for you in your career at this point to to come to this league that you know and and where you've you've scored before. Maybe you'll be a little bit more comfortable. 
Yeah, but well, uh, you know, for every soccer player, like we just want to play and we just want to keep on keep on going. Like if you're on the bench, like doesn't matter which team uh, you are, like you always want to to play. And when this opportunity came, like I, I didn't think about it. Like I just took it because, I, as you said, I already know I already know the league, and I already know a lot of people here. So I, I was like, yeah, I, I just want to come back to Canada. Like I'm also we are like super. Uh, me and my wife were super grateful with the CPL with Canada uh, because like they open us the doors to to enjoy football again and to score goals and to play to have some minutes so yeah for sure we we have a special bond with with Canada so that's that was an easy uh, uh, decision absolutely and and you know for those who who don't know you've kind of loved Canada it seems over the the few years that you were in Pacific um your your family did as well congratulations by the way I know you had a baby just a few months ago um, I'm sure I'm sure that's been uh, a fun thing to balance along with being a professional footballer as it always is um but let's talk about coming into this Vancouver side a very young team as you mentioned and you having a little bit more experience not only in this league but you know, in other places in the world, in Norway now and in Mexico back at home, what do you think you can bring to this team at this point in the season? Well, just to try to help like the young guys um, to like, I don't know, like uh, in some part of the games, like probably uh, like w when you're like young, you want to do like a lot of stuff when you probably don't have to like, I don't know, just saying like things that come into my mind, like just those little details and those little like small like small things uh mm -hmm. try to talk to them and and try to help them but also like just working hard every day and just like showing them uh like like the work ethic like being professionals every day like those kind of things i i think uh like the ex experienced guys in, in the team we can do that for for the young kids absolutely I, and i think experience is is a big thing for a goal scorer like yourself or i think one of the things you did best at Pacific last year was being in the right place to score. You know, some of sometimes a goal doesn't necessarily look like the the craziest finish, but you just always yeah. seem to pop up in the right place, right? Is that something that you kind of learned over the years just by by playing and, and finding out, you know, where you need to be in a team? Exactly, and and that's uh, where I go when when Canada opens us the door, like just to play again, just to find that rhythm, just to find those spaces. It's, it's just because like you're playing, right? And yeah, I learned a lot when I was in Mexico and in, in, in my career, but like here in Canada and the CPL, it was where I could show like what I learned in Mexico. So uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a, it's a great chance for me just to come back here and try to do the same or even better than uh, that what I did last, uh, last year. Absolutely. I, I know it'll be very fresh and you haven't had a lot of time for a first impression with this team yet. You almost literally just got off the training pitch for your first training session with this team. But uh, tell me tell me what it's been like, what that maybe first impression was of some of your new teammates and of what it's maybe going to be like working under a coach like Ashin Gopi. Yeah, well, uh, the, coaching, the coaching staff like has a lot of experience and also they're like great guys, everyone. And uh, since the, the the moment I came here to the to the locker room and to the club, everyone was so nice. Everyone received me so well, and and also with the with the players, I think there's a lot of quality and and also a lot of young guys with a lot of quality. So I think that's gonna be uh, great. And and during training, uh, it was amazing. Uh, we had like really good connection. So I think every day we'll have like better connection and like during the, the weeks and during the games, I think that that will improve. Um, so hopefully we can do that and be uh, one of the most uh, dangerous uh, teams in the, in the league. Yeah, it, it always takes players who come in mid-season, maybe a little bit of time to get up to fitness and to, to understand a new coach's system and things like that. But how quickly do you feel like you can get accustomed to this new team and start to really make an impact for this team down the, the last half of the season? Well, hopefully it can be uh, pretty quick. Uh, as I said, today we had like really good connections and the training went well. Um, we'll see tomorrow and then the, the few next days and hopefully the connection is still there and even better. But also like uh, when I was in Norway, I was watching uh, the highlights or I was watching full games uh, like on like a uh, repetition or sometimes uh, I was just like staying late just to 
to watch some games of uh, of the CPL, and of course I, I was watch, uh, watching Vancouver. Um, so I kind of know how how they play, and, and for sure it's gonna be easier just being here and training and, and and being part like every single day with them. I think it's gonna be way easier to to know how uh, how to fit in. Well, we're not sure when exactly you'll make your debut, but I'm hoping, and I think we're all hoping that. You'll be on the pitch on August 19th when Pacific come to play in Langley. Uh, you know, this is something that Callum and, and Caden went through earlier in the season when they played against some of their former teammates. What is that going to be like for you having kind of gone across the across the straight to the other BC team and maybe seeing some familiar faces there? Well, in one way, it's going to be great because, like, as you said, I'm going to see really familiar uh, faces and and I'm always gonna be like super grateful with Pacific because they, they, they were the team that opened me the the, uh, the door here in, in Canada. But like now I'm with Vancouver and I'm gonna fight for them and I'm gonna do my best and work hard uh, for Vancouver. So I think it's gonna be a, a great match. Uh, for sure it's a good uh, rivalry. So yeah, I think that's, that's gonna keep on going during the years and it's gonna be a special game but I'm going to be 100% with Vancouver uh, trying to do my best and try to work hard and score goals. Absolutely. Well, we'll, we'll see if you score against Pacific. Will you celebrate? I know, I know some players are like, they don't celebrate against a former club. Will you celebrate if you score in that game? No, I don't think so. I, like, <laughs> of course, I'm going to be super happy and excited because I scored with Vancouver, but uh, Pacific, yeah, I, I have a special uh, love for them. Well, well, we'll hope that you score a goal before that game so it's not your first and you can be kind of chill about it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Vancouver FC adding a former, the the reigning golden boot winner in the Canadian Premier League in Alejandro Diaz coming on loan from Songdal in Norway. Alex, thank you so much for doing this and we'll see you on the pitch soon. Thank you so much, Charlie. Talk Good ball for Dada Luke. This is dangerous. Into the penalty area and a goal! A flying header! Alejandro Diaz has the Trident's level in Hamilton.